Sports. Expect it here. The Texas legends have made their way up north behind some high-flying dunks and thunderous jams. Here in Indiana, the legends look to get a victory against the feisty Fort Wayne Mad Ants and one of the D-League's hottest players in Tony Mitchell. It's an NBA D-League Easter treat here on CBS Sports Network. Development League on CBS Sports Network is presented to you by Taco Bell from the Allen County War Memorial Coliseum here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Well, the Fort Wayne Mad Ants looking for more than eggs. They're in the playoff hunt hosting the Texas Legends here tonight. Hi there, Jason App here. Glad to have you with us alongside Steve Wolf. And Steve, certainly something for Fort Wayne to play for as we enter the final week of the NBA D League season. And for players on both of these teams, still looking for the ultimate call up to the NBA. Happy Eastern, Jason. And you're 100% right. And I think when you're looking at Texas, they have guys that have played before looking to move up. And I think the guy that I would focus on is Sean Singletary. He is a really good scorer against Reno two weeks ago. He had 35 points, five rebounds, and seven assists. And you look at that, his average is not showing what he can do from the outside. This is a guy that can shoot. On the other end of it, you got a guy in Tony Mitchell. Tony Mitchell for the Mad Ants is just on fire. He is knocking down the jump shots. He's third in the conference in scoring. And a week ago, he was a player of the week. Look for this guy to take over today. Time now for the Budweiser starting lineups for this one. First for the visiting Texas Legends, Delonte West in the backcourt along with Sean Singletary. Tristan Nyinga averaging about 15 points per game. He's the leading point getter for the Legends. Meantime, the first five for the Mad Ants. Anthony Harris will join Mitchell in orchestrating the offense. Richardson and Wallace, a couple of guys that can stick it from the outside along with their inside games as well. Ahmad Ajami is the acting head coach for the Texas Legends tonight, filling in for Eduardo Nahara, who received a one-game suspension by the NBA D-League for an accumulation of technical fouls. More on that as we go along. And Dwayne Tickner, his first season as the Mad Ants head coach, 17 years as a head man at the college and pro levels, and trying to lead Fort Wayne into the postseason for the first time in franchise history. We'll look at the referees for this one. Tyler Ford, Justin Van Dane, T.R. Cruz, all of them also looking to get call-ups to the NBA, out of the NBA Development League. As you look at Delonte West, eight-year NBA vet, among those players looking to get another shot in the association at some point. 50-game regular season, we are entering the final week. Mad Ants come in at... 25 and 22 right now they're in the seventh spot of the eight teams that would make the postseason again texas out of the playoff picture they lost last night in canton to try to win their road finale before a couple of home games to end the regular season next weekend this is the final home tilt of the regular campaign for the mad ants they're in the gold uniforms here at home they've got control of the basketball anthony harris with it and you know, Jason, I think it's so important for the Ants to get off on a good note because Texas has nothing to prove. And they're going to be trying to get up to the next level, some of these guys. I think the Mad Ants, who have a lot to play for, need to get out of the gate early. Anthony Richardson with a baseline turnaround averages about 14 per game. That was what Dwayne Tickner was pounding home to his club at their shoot around this morning. Jump on this team early and don't let them go. They did a lot of that last weekend against uh, RGV Rio Grande Valley when they were able to run out to a big lead before RGV stormed back to take the victory. And you saw that at the other end. International goaltending rules apply here in the D-League. It's able to swat it there off the rim. Now Fort Wayne rushing back. And Tony Mitchell, who as we alluded to before, has just been in a zone of late. And that's the reason why. Everything he's got seemingly going through the hoop. And Jason, he has all the skills to get to the next level. And talking to Coach 
Coach Tickner, before the game, he has really tried to impress upon him the mental aspect, not only the scoring, but understanding where you are and who your teammates are to get, make sure you have a chance to win the game. Texas working inside, Melvin Eli. Veteran player, former number one pick of the Clippers, can't get it to go. And speaking of number one picks, Delonte West out of St. Joseph's, kicking it out. Singletary, the outside shot not there to start. Singletary was out three hours before the game, working on his jump shot with the assistant coach. But you see Richardson just trying to get to the basket very quickly. Singletary is a nice jump shooter, and playing well. The 29-year-old Richardson out of Florida State with a bucket, six straight to begin here for the Mad Ants. Iango. The beginning bucket for Texas after missing their first four from the floor. The legends on the board. And a nice player play for the Cavaliers. He's a guy that really has a lot of upside on the inside because he can also come out and shoot it. Tony Mitchell tearing it up. 10 days ago, he had 47 points against Austin. Second highest point total in the D-League this season. It was actually the highest, but then passed by Maine's Jermaine Taylor, who had 49 the next night. And now kick basketball. And Mitchell continues just to tear it up. 25 points and a win Friday night for the Mad Ant. Well, you notice how he got rid of the ball soon enough. There's a floater up over Eli in the lane. And although Mitchell's pretty big and strong, he realizes he can't go up against a bigger guy like that and score. Understanding who you're playing against is very important. Eli fakes the kick out. Now does send it deep. Single tear. He'll push it. Fred House, another veteran player with the triple for Texas. All five of these guys for Texas have played in the league. I mean, this is a team that if you give them a shot, and they have a chance to showcase their talents, they'll take advantage of it. It's so important for the Mad Ants to play as a team to win this game. House puts it on the deck, sashaying down the lane, back iron. The Nevada out of Southern Utah was first chosen in a D-League draft back in 2001. A lot of players played all over the world, but to get back to the NBA, the best place to be seen, the NBA D-League. Little turnaround there for Tommy Smith, big man out of Arizona State. And Tommy Smith realized that nobody on Texas was finding a body. Nobody boxed out. He went straight in there and got the stick back. Eli looking for the touch on the turn. And it'll be a foul on the push on Dwayne Jones, another product out of St. Joseph's in Philadelphia. Now Singletary getting into the lane and drawing the defense in. And you see House just stepping up wide open and knocking down that jump shot. That's a layup for House. I mean, you got to make sure you extend on, the, on the, the guys that can shoot the jump shots. Matt Ants doubling up Texas for the moment. Mitchell from three, off. Wallace skying in for the board. And then turns it over. House in transition. Fouled on his way before the shot. That was a good steal by Texas on that other end. But I'll tell you what, Jason, Texas is not boxing out. That's back-to-back -back offensive rebounds for the Mad Ants. And, you know, I know you don't have a lot to play for. You're not going to go to the, the playoffs. But I'll tell you, you got to box out or the Mad Ants are going to take over this game. They will rule that House was in the act of shooting the foul by Anthony Harris. And House gets the first free throw. Well, if you see Fort Wayne attacking the offensive glass, good reason they're number one in the league in offensive rebounds. And I'll tell you, what that tells me is that the coaching staff has the team bought in to the hustle plays. And offensive rebounding is definitely a hustle play. Smith short. And the rebound brought down by Jones. Well, Dwayne Tickner says it. He hasn't had a team that's really coalesced like this during the course of the year. They started out 3-10, and ten, but they've gotten hot, winning nine of their last 12 and making this late push for the playoff. And, you know, Jason, when you talk about that, they started 3-10, and ten, they really didn't have a nucleus. Coach Tickner was able to go out and get some guys in here that he felt could help them grow. But now look at this team. You talked about their winning in the, in the latter part of the year, but they've lost 42 points in scoring. Ron Howard, the point guard, broke his hand. Luke Aaron Goaty has been Leading the lead in scoring and rebounding is out with a bad knee. That foul on Delonte West, his first. And Hern Gody 
and is trying to rehab the knee, but very doubtful that he'll be back at any point this year. And Ron Howard still in doubt after breaking the bone in his hand. He's sixth in the D League in scoring, and again, 40 plus points that are being missed. That means Tony Mitchell is picking up the slack in the offensive end, and he continues to fire a fire away already with a half dozen. When you talk about scores, you want to see if they have five tools. Can they score inside? Can they post up? Can they have the mid-range jump shot, the outside jump shot, and the drive? And here you see a nice post-up move and the one-handed over the left shorter shot. This is a five-tool offensive player, Tony Mitchell. Now the foul on Richardson trying to guard Ienga, and the officials with a little chat there. Making sure they have the right call. They didn't rule it a trip on Richardson. Hey, look at Tony Mitchell. Essentially a season and a half at Alabama was all SEC freshman team that first year with the Tide. And towards the end of the year, suspended and left kind of with a bad taste in his mouth. Ends up in the D League and it's really come on strong as Anthony Harris takes it to the cup. And Dwayne Dickner says, had to earn his trust back a little bit. It took a while, but now he's bought in the last six weeks. He's been a complete player. On that point, they have a lot of upperclassmen, I say, even though they're in the NBA, but guys like Richardson, guys that, like Porter, who they who took their butt in, these are the guys that have guys over to their house. They teach them how to be professionals, and I think that's the combination that you have to have an NBA, MBDL team. Dwayne Tickner, his team getting it together, and Harris, great driver of the basketball all the way to the cup. And I think the most important thing you see from that drive is that the Mad Ants want to be the aggressor. They don't feel they're as talented. They feel they're a better team. They have to be more aggressive, and that means transition buckets. Can't leave Wallace open. He has three-point range, 36% from deep, and the Mad Ants are cooking. Eight of 13 so far, shooting 61.5%. Talk about getting out early. Coach Ticker said, let's get it done. Three-pointer in the bucket. You see it happening. Lynn turns the corner, Lynn to the basket. They're everywhere you look. Here comes Ron, off the rim. Steve Novak again. And this is where it starts. It's a step on the journey. Right here, right here, hey, hey, hey. They're working hard, because really, this is the NBA. Suffering from allergy congestion? Allegra D decongests. Allegra D depressurizes so you can breathe. A fast, non-drowsy antihistamine plus a powerful decongestant for 24 hours of congestion-free breathing. Allegra D, defense against allergy congestion. Big benefits for your heart health and more in one small pill. Shift Mega Red Omega-3 Krill Oil, the better Omega-3 choice. It absorbs faster in your body than fish oil with no fishy smell or aftertaste. Try Shift Mega Red today. The age of the oversized luxury car is about to give way to a smarter, more nimble breed. Introducing the all-new Buick Encore. With evolved features like flexible seating for five and IntelliLink, Clearly, the next big thing in luxury is small. So dude, what's up with the kittens? They're super soft. Yeah, but why don't you just wear a Hanes Comfort Blend shirt? It's just as soft as those kittens, but you know, it's a shirt. Yeah, but these are kittens. But that's the point. See, Hanes has new super soft shirts. That way you don't have to wear kittens. I see. Why don't we ask Michael Jordan what he thinks? Dude, wow. But I got it off Sky Mall. Hanes Comfort Blend t-shirts and underwear, our softest ever. NBA D-League on CBS Sports Network is presented by Taco Bell. Sometimes you gotta live Moss. By SAP. SAP helps businesses run like never before. And by Boost Mobile. Be heard. Here in Fort Wayne, 17-8 advantage for the Mad Ants. Scored seven straight in the last 80 seconds to lengthen out their lead. 
Well, April is Autism Awareness Month. The NBA D-League salutes autism speaks and families everywhere affected by autism. To learn more on how the NBA family is raising autism awareness in our communities, please visit www.nba.com backslash care. Now, Texas had sliced down that Fort Wayne lead to a single bucket before seven straight by the Mad Ants. What will the legends do in response? West guarded by Smith. Four left to shoot. Ianga looking for space. Got the space, but not the hoop. West hit it in the corner a little bit too long. You got to have better ball movement against this Mad Ants defense. Mitchell with the pass. Richardson with the hit from three. I tell you what, this right now, you got to get something out of Delonte West. Nothing has happened when it's in his hands. Bozeman's now in the game for single pair. There's got to be better ball movement. You got to get the ball inside, but you got to kick it back out if you have nothing on the low block. Ianga backing down Smith. Double team coming. And the turnover, Matt Ants wanted the shot clock, but the officials ruling possession had changed, so Texas gets it back with new numbers on the time of the shoot. West over top of Harris. Mitchell brings it down, looks to push. Harris with the left-handed scoop foul. I tell you, you got to get out. A good dribble penetration by Mitchell. Richardson wide open. And you look at House looking back, saying, anybody going to help me out? No transition defense by Texas. Matajami, the acting head coach for Texas, looking on. And it's something that you, you look at these guys and the ability of Wallace and Richardson at 6'8", 6'7", to stretch the floor, come out and be able to consistently stick the three. It's been a difference maker of late for Fort Wayne. And it's a strategy that I think they tried to exploit, getting the ball down quick in transition. That looked like the uh, Harlem Drogue Plotters as Harris. Went to, wait, whoops, where's that ball go? But you know, it is really a strategy by Fort Wayne to beat the defense down. And if you don't hustle, you're not going to stand to those shooters. And like you said, Richardson can throw it up. So can Wallace. 4.30 left to go here, opening quarter. Again, Fort Wayne can't clinch a playoff spot tonight, but they can certainly greatly help the cause with a W. And that's off of Ienga. It'll belong to Fort Wayne. Right now, there is no offense. You got to credit the Mad Ants defense, but there's no offensive fluidity for the, the Legends at all. Timeout taken. What's going on? Fort Wayne with a 22 8 lead. The Mad Ants never been to the NBA D League playoffs, looking to get there for the first time in 2013. Duh. 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 So amazing. It's a total no-brainer. The new Cool Ranch Doritos Locos Tacos. Now at Taco Bell. Our landing time got moved back another hour. Hunger creeping up on you? Stash of Ritz Crackerfuls made with real cheese and whole grain. Don't get caught hungry. Ritz Crackerfuls. Jimmy, what do you got there? Hey, David. It's my new album. Jim Nance, My Greatest Hits. Seriously? Yeah. First press, 800,000 <gasps> copies. Y you don't think that's enough? Oh, no, I think that'll be plenty. I can, I can get you a copy. I believe I'll download it. That's what all the kids are doing. Mm-hmm. We're shooting the music video next week for Hello, Friends. Oh, my goodness. Storybook. How did Stalling I come up with that? The Greenbrier Classic. Fasten your chin strap. The 50-yard indoor war is now on CBS Sports Network. <laughs> Expect heart stopping action. Touchdown. Expect helmet popping hits. This is dropped. Expect high flying speed. Sprinting inside the 10. Expect arena football. Net 10 Wireless Arena Football. Saturday at 8.30, only on CBS Sports Network. As a child, Leroy Homer dreamed of flying a plane. 
He gave his life on September 11th as first officer of hijacked Flight 93 that crashed in a Pennsylvania field. For his heroic actions, he was made an honorary member of the Tuskegee Airmen and received the Congressional Gold Medal. His love of flying lives on through the Leroy Homer Foundation, which dedicates itself to supporting children's dreams to fly. Help turn these dreams into reality. Learn more at LeroyHomer.org. CBS Cares. One team is shooting 63%, the other 23%. That's why there's a difference in the game. Fort Wayne here by 18. Dwayne Tickner, first season as Matt Ann's head coach, says guys love playing here because they don't get yelled for shooting, they get yelled for not shooting enough when they're open. I would have liked that. You see right there, uh, 25 wins is a record for this franchise. 24 was the record set two years ago. But you know what I love about this guy? He's old school. You told me that when we talked yesterday. And what he tries to do is make this a team. He realizes the objective is to get his guys to the next level. But if they win as a team, the coaches, the scouts in the NBA will see that they have the ability, but they can play in a structure. And this is what this team is doing. All these players in this game today are free agents held that would be called up by any NBA team at any time. There are no players down from the NBA on an NBA assignment at this point. You know, Jeff Potter, who is the president of this team, has done a nice job of allowing Coach Tickner to be involved in some of the decisions to bring players in. Fred House able to hit another long range shot. Texas tries to push back. Mitchell baseline no, but free throws coming up. You see Coach Tickner right there, you know, he's been around and he calls it the way he sees it. Actually, he loves the fact that they have guys like Richardson. We've talked about them before in Porter. He said, actually, the Richardson have the whole team over on Wednesday nights and they have Bible study and they have dinner. And then uh, they also talk about Chris Porter's wife invites some of the wives and girlfriends to lunch once a week. So this is really a team and it's unusual, but I think it's the way you have to do it to teach these kids to be professionals to get them to the next level. It's more than just playing basketball. Certainly is. Fort Wayne is the D-League affiliate for the Pistons, Pacers, Bucks, and Bobcats. And Texas has a close relationship with the Dallas Mavericks. They're co-owned by the Dallas GM, Donnie Nelson. Solomon Bozeman off the bench out of Arkansas. Little Rock missing the three ball and then a foul. And the battle on Sean Singletary for the loose ball. There's a look at Donnie Nelson, the Dallas Mavericks GM, co-owner of the Legends, or son of the Hall of Famer, Don Nelson. So there's a relationship one-on-one -on -one between the Mavericks and the Legends where Dwayne Tickner may be getting players on NBA assignment from various teams. A lot of times when you've got that close relationship with one franchise, like Ahmad Ajami, who's stepping in for Eduardo Nahara tonight. They'll run a lot of the same stuff that the Mavericks will at the NBA level. And, and what will happen is a, as a kid will play and, and somebody will get hurt on the, on the franchise and not just bring the guy up to be a backup point guard. He'll bring him up and actually start. Whereas when you're talking with the ants, a lot of times the agents will call, you know, the management say, listen, please don't bring our uh, my, my guy in here because we want him directly affiliated with one team. It's a big difference. Mitchell able to get the rebound, and Dwayne Tickner saying a lot of the teams are interested in Mitchell at this point for a late season call up to the NBA as the three rattles out for Wallace, but also to earn his rights at that point and have the opportunity to bring him into NBA summer camp better, get a better look as these players start to position for next season as well. Bozeman, no good. Terrence Thomas into the game leading the break, and Richardson can't save it on the side. But you don't see that much in the NBDL. That was a great extra pass by Wallace to Richardson. I like the fact, coming down in transition, not just shooting the first available shot, but getting the best shot. Fourth turnover against Fort Wayne in the field goal percentage. Still telling the story to this point with 2.23 left to go in the opening court. Singletary able to get it to rattle down on the two. Tell you what, he works so hard. He's one of those kids that could go back up uh, to the NBA. He can shoot the ball, but he also can distribute. That's very important. He's not as big. You see right here, he's getting posted up by Richardson. 
A lot of guys have been posted up by Richardson there. And give credit to Anthony Harris for spotting the mismatch immediately and feeding Anthony Richardson, 6'7", former Florida State Seminole, now has nine points to lead all score. Singletary trying to leave for Eli, and he's knocked to the floor by Thomas. Thomas, out of Baylor, spent last year with Canton and Reno in the D-League. If you're new to the NBA Development League, 16 teams, 50-game regular season, entering the final week right now. Eight teams will make the postseason. And the three rounds of that begin in about 10 days or so. A foul on Mitchell trying to defend. As the Fort Wayne lead, lead is at 13. Now, this is a great place to watch a game. And this has got a lot of history, the Coliseum here. But uh, we talk about it's spring break. It's all still Easter, and they're still getting fans in the stands here. And that's great for Fort Wayne. There's no pro teams around here. The colleges aren't around here. They needed a, a franchise like this in the heart of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Basketball country. Four points now for Singletary. And this franchise. First year, 2007-2008 campaign. And the Mavericks affiliation with the Texas Legends started in 2010-2011. It's the old Colorado 14ers franchise. But right now we're talking 18. Tony Mitchell dumping in another bomb. He said he's a 5-2 guy. you got to get out on him. That guy can shoot it inside and outside. Right now, 14-point lead for the Mad Ants. Mitchell has 11. Eli, Wallace defending, kick out. Singletary short on the triple. Mitchell was eyeing it up, didn't fall. Wallace got it back, lost it, and claiming he was fouled. Bozeman, house to Singletary, and the legends Working off the screen from Eli Singletary, pops in three. You can see, we talked about it in the open. This is a kid that had 35 points a week ago, can nail it. Doesn't always look to shoot first. He's a pass first guard, and that's what will be in the NBA. Draining the three-pointer. Singletary's second round pick, 2008, is rookie and only NBA season with Phoenix and Charlotte. And that's lost out of bounds. It'll belong to Texas. Well, Tony Mitchell, essentially a year and a half at Alabama in his first season of the pro ranks, and he is turning it up here in the prime portion of the season. But he really is. There's never been a question about Tony Mitchell, the score. It's been more of the attitude that he has to have to play at the next level, to become more of a professional, and I think that that's what he's getting right now with Coach Dick Pickner. End of the quarter, Harris got it to go. The steal, the speed, and the smarts to realize the clock was winding down. Dwayne Tickner loving it. And his squad through one quarter with a 14-point push. That's the end of the opening quarter with a score of Fort Wayne 31, Texas 17. You're watching NBA Development League basketball coverage presented by Taco Bell on CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Gary. Oh, hey. What's up? I see you've noticed my authentic 1980s championship wrestling belt. Got it with my tax refund. I got this Android phone with my refund. It was less than 100 bucks at Boost Mobile. Let's take a pic. Cool. Hey, that's my oh. belt! <laughs> Get out. Yeah! Got my belt back! We hear you're looking for a smarter way to spend your tax refund. That's why Boost has the Kyocera Hydro for less than 100 bucks. Boost Mobile. Be heard. Hey. They should make a Cool Ranch one of these. Hey guys, they should do a Cool Ranch one. I just said that. So when is the Cool Ranch version coming out, homie? Not soon enough. I agree. You agree? I agree. They should make a Cool Ranch one. I'm tweeting that. Why they don't make a Cool Ranch one? Cool Ranch, Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch. They should make a Cool Ranch one. Well, they better hurry up before I'm dead. We know. We did. Introducing the Cool Ranch Doritos Locos Taco.
Let's go places. Not just the ones you can find on a map, but the ones you can find in your heart. Because inspiration doesn't favor those who sit still. It dances with the daring and rewards the courageous with ideas. Ideas that inspire. Ideas that take you places you never imagined. Ideas big enough to make the heart skip a beat. And in some cases, maybe two. Toyota, let's go places. You may have to travel like this. But at Courtyard, you can choose to stay like this and enjoy more of this and this. It's a new stay. Courtyard. Ready to start quarter number two with Ahmad Ajami, acting head coach for Texas. Coach, I know you're worried about getting back in transition. What do you need to do to adjust things here second quarter? Well, what don't we need to do? I mean, first off, we're not doing a good job getting back. Defensively, we're getting lost. We're not getting a handout, closing out on shots. I mean, just right now, frustrated a lot. And it mostly has to come down to our offense. Because we're not getting things happening offensively, we're having a lackluster performance defensively. we got to understand that our offense is going to come once we start playing a lot better defense. So once we pick up the defense and start playing like we know how to play, everything else will take care of itself. Coach, thanks. Thank you. Uh, you know, when you look at Coach Ajami, he doesn't have Dwight Howard back there, and that's who he had when he was with the Orlando Magic. Y you have to transition. We've talked about that. And right now, the Mad Ants have a 10-0 lead in points in the paint. A lot of those, Jason, have come in transition. 14-point cushion right now for Fort Wayne, matching its largest lead of the game. Singletary, no. Jones with a second chance, rejected by Richardson. Here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, NBA Development League action on CBS Sports Network. Tony Mitchell turning it over on the offensive foul. Jason Knapp here with Steve Wolf, our CBS Sports Network crew. Final week of the NBA D-League regular season. That's a key foul on Tony Mitchell, number two here in quarter two, as he was a little bit out of control. Fort Wayne try to make the 18 NBA D-League playoffs, which will start in about 10 days. And right now, if the playoffs started today, they would have the seventh spot among the eight teams. Win can't clinch them a spot. It'll certainly help the cause tonight. Texas is playing for pride at this point to get all these players looking to impress some NBA teams, get a late season call up, or position themselves for next year and beyond in the eyes of NBA teams. Bozeman on the drive, Richardson in denial mode. Inside defense by the Mad Ants is crazy. They are blocking everything that comes inside. It's just seen the spot up jump shot by McCammy, just knocking it down. Another transition basket for the Mad Ants. With Ron Howard out with a broken bone in his hand, Dimitri McCamey, who was playing with RGV in Erie earlier this year, signed about 10 days ago. And he's been phenomenal. Dwayne Tickner talking about he can run the show offensively, but also hit from long range. Well, you'll see how quickly he's the guy that got the back the ball out quickly. He was able to fill it in transition. McCamey knocking down the three. Number 24 uh, for the Illini. Former star at Illinois. Now he was walking out before practice, and the owner of the team, John Ziglis, said, hey, I love that guy. I said, well, why? And he said he went to Illinois. That's where I went. <laughs> Good chance you can get signed, too. Well, Fred House went to Southern Utah. And after all these years, he can still do that, knock it down from deep. House with nine points. He's the leading scorer right now for the Legends. Three triples so far for House. Chris Porter. Sadio Rojas, knifing through, nifty pass there from Terrence Thomas. Look at the points in the paint. It's a shutout, 16-0 so far for Fort Wayne. Eli trying to get inside and change that. Little lefty hooked up. Former WAC player of the year at Fresno State. Hearts of eight NBA seasons with five different teams. Eli checking in with another hoop, he's got four. House, 
And the tap for Eli is good. Give him a half dozen. Well, how about the big guy? He got the rebound on the one end and filled the lane and was able to get the stick back on the other end. That's the first point in the paint for the Texas Legends. And again, if you're looking, you're thinking that was close to goaltending. Well, it would be in the NBA, but in the NBA D-League, they experiment with the rules, and the international goaltending rule is in effect where you can touch it when it's off the rim. Right now, the way Fort Wayne's shooting, they're not worried about the rim. They're not hitting it. They're hitting all net. They're hitting all net, and nobody's really extending. Jones was nowhere near Rojas. Rojas just had to shoot that jump shot. They're going to get, I think, Wallace. But they're going to get Bozeman for the foul on Wallace. And it is on Bozeman, his second. Dwayne Tickner with a fist pump. He and his squad buying in right now. You can catch the NBA's top prospects in action. Watch NBA D-League games live and on demand all season long at NBADLeague.com, powered by YouTube. Now touched out on the edge. 19 left to shoot here. It'll be Fort Wayne basketball. Sadio Rojas will trigger the restart. Former NAIA Player of the Year. Won a national championship at Oklahoma Wesley. And that's McKamey delivering another long-range attempt. The second triple. He's got six. I don't think if you ask Coach Tickner to draw up a game plan, I don't think that this team, his players, could have executed any better. They have taken the lead getting the block transition and their inside defense has been spectacular. That's a tonic for winning this game. Bozeman on the take. Gets it to go right before the shot clock expired. Tough work for the guard out of Arkansas. Little Rock and now a foul against McKamey trying to get some space. Now that's just not a smart play. You, you know, you're up, you're up by 17 points. You have the momentum and you'll see right here Bozeman's just going up to play some defense. McKamey really didn't use his head. That is a selfish play. You can't do that when you're trying to fight for a playoff spot. It is a technical foul. I think McKamey's making the case that Bozeman may have embellished that. And he'll make the freebie. Well, whether he embellished or not, there was a push. You just don't need to do that. And right now, when you have Mitchell on the bench in foul trouble, you can't have to have one of your very, very good offensive players back-to-back three-point jump shots sitting out of the game. Well, Bozeman started the year. Different D-League franchise. And now here at Texas at the tail end of the year. McCain skipped to the corner. Thomas, that's a two. And that was a great extra, extra pass by McCain. He looked up, he's hit a couple jump shots and the defense had to extend on him. He makes the extra pass, a really smart play by McKamey. Singletary, back for Bozeman. House. Porter with a rebound. Former SEC Player of the Year back in 1999, Chris Porter still chasing the NBA dream. And he gives about 10, 11 minutes a game, which is really, really helpful. He's better in the locker room. Richardson and Porter do a great job, along with Smith, keeping this team together in the locker room, which is probably as important as 11 minutes he plays on the court. You mentioned this large lead here for Fort Wayne a week ago here on CBS Sports Network. They had a similar lead against Rio Grande Valley before the Vipers, one of the best teams in the league, stormed back behind 41 from Andrew Goudlock to get the victory. Bozeman, maybe trying to fuel a turnaround here for Texas. Able to stick the jump. I tell you, Texas has got enough ability. They have enough NBA players to come back. They can come back very quickly, too. And right now, they have the momentum on that air ball by Ross. House getting up quickly. Bozeman, baseline attack, off the window and down. Bozeman, the last five points, he's being aggressive. Knocks down the jump shot and then gets to the rim. It's a 5-0 run now for the Legends. Bozeman has eight all here in this second quarter. McKamey. It was halfway down. Oh, uh, what a pass by Singletary. Getting Jones cut into the basket. That's a great pass by Singletary.
Well, Bozeman's been the guy. You'll see right now, he gets around Thomas on the left-hand side. There's no help weak side. The little guy, probably the littlest guy on the court, gets straight to the rim. Bozeman's only about six foot, six foot one. And Jones has aligned at 12 points, nine rebounds in last night's loss for Texas in Canton. They'll finish up the regular season next weekend at home. The two games set on Friday and Saturday against Springfield. The second is good. This is as close as the legends have been since really the first four or five minutes of the first quarter. It's important right now for the Mad Ants to take care of the basketball, get the ball inside, have some inside-outside offense. Everything's been perimeter in the last couple minutes. Rojas and the tip, and the follow flush by Porter. The old guy can still get up. Chris Porter with the stick back. Nice move by Rojas getting in the lane. Ienga open for three. Jones on the offensive glass. I like what Singletary's doing. He could have thrown that three back up, but he decided to bring it back out and set it up. Deflection. Thomas gets it back. Three on two. Oh, that's beautiful. The correct that pass. Beautiful. Porter the finish and one. That is beautiful. Three on two fast break basketball. Fort Wayne with a 16 point lead. Doing it with some teamwork. Porter with the stuff. And then the three on two, two on one fast break. An easy one for the lead. Twin power and torque, maximum capability and versatility, and comfortable seating for four. The off-road rated Terex 4 side-by-side. -side. How can it get any better? How about no interest for 48 months or a $1,000 purchase incentive? Better. Right now, get no interest for 48 months or a $1,000 purchase incentive on all Terex 4s. Don't wait. This offer ends March 31st. You do a lot of thinking on a bike about your life, family, your dreams. One of my dreams came to me on a bike, to open up my own shop. So what happens when you complete a dream? Well, you just start thinking of the next. Refreshing, smooth, delicious. Newcastle Brown Ale. Great times guaranteed. Unless you're having a crap time, then we can't guarantee much at all. Newcastle Brown Ale. Made with hand-selected ingredients. Handcrafted by master brewers. And hand-photoshopped by underpaid interns. This is Mike. Mike's being healthy and chewing like a man. With one a day Vita Craves for Men. It's a gummy multivitamin with more B vitamins, which help convert food to energy and help Mike do manly things like wrestle bears and take out the garbage. One a day Vita Craves for Men. Fort Wayne Mad Ants have never made the NBA D-League playoffs. They're on the cusp of getting there this year in 2013. Top eight teams make the playoffs, the three division champs, and then the next five teams with the best records. Right now, Fort Wayne is in the seventh spot. Austin, Tulsa, very close to clinching. It's essentially Fort Wayne, Maine, Sioux Falls, and Erie fighting for two spots among those four teams. Our next game on CBS Sports Network, Monday, 9.30 Eastern, Bakersfield and Reno. And then complete playoff coverage, the quarterfinals, semifinals, championship rounds, best of threes, all here on CBS Sports Network. And that game for Bakersfield against Reno is big. Bakersfield doesn't have the West Division title locked up yet. They're in a battle with Santa Cruz, and if Bakersfield gets that, you got a shot at clinching home court advantage for as long as they would need it and stay alive in the NBA D League postseason. We know how important home court advantage is. And right now, Fort Wayne has regained their composure. 
Texas got it down to 12 point lead and now with good team play, the Mad Ants have brought it back as you look at Coach Tickner on the sideline. I really like that three on two fast break. Good ball movement. Like the smarts of Thomas, some heady passes before and that time able to get his defender in the air in the fake and earned a trip to the free throw line. And we're talking about the playoffs, the three division winners. You get to choose your playoff opponent in the NBA D League. So the one seed doesn't necessarily play the eight seed. They'll get to pick out of five through eight who they'd like to play. And that time you can figure out maybe who you match up better with. You could think about travel and factor that in for the entire postseason. Interesting concept here in the D League. That's a reward for winning and being the top seed. Can you imagine that in college, especially the way matchups are so important? Another missed layup inside. George Adufawa can't get it to go. And a foul fighting for the rebound on Vernon Lewis. Now there's still good ball movement. You see again the nice pass by Singletary. You have to make those baskets. That's this level. You can't miss easy buckets, especially when you get a great pass like that from Singletary. Corner turning on Lewis. That's not quarter shot. You need a little bit more ball movement. That's a little bit of a four shot by Chris Porter. Get the ball back into the game. He let him set it up. West for Singletary. Odufawa out of North Texas, right in the area where the legends call home. Up in the Frisco region, outside of downtown Dallas. Thomas, little two-man game with Smith. Underneath, Porter trapped, but rescued himself. But that's where he needs to be. He needs to be on that low block. They gotta find him, especially when you got shooters. Rojas, when you have McCamey on the perimeter, Thomas, let Porter do some work down, down the low block and get a little bit of inside-outside offense. Singletary. Real right here, you see the nice pass into Porter. He misses a little bit too far into the basket, but sticks with it. The lead is 20. That's the biggest lead of the game for the Mad Ants. And again, Singletary with the offensive foul. Ooh, that's an offensive. Rojas out of control. And that's the first personal on Rojas. Singletary, Singletary doing a nice job of coming over and trapping on the wing. They're going to get uh, another foul to us on Singletary with a little forearm to the chops. What you want to do when a guy cuts through the lane, you want to chest the cutter, but you don't want to get him an elbow to the face. It's going to be two fouls on Ross. Well, Texas will take a timeout here. 323 left to go before halftime. And it's Fort Wayne by 20. NBA D League action on CBS Sports Network. Say having a dark side will lead to no good. I certainly hope so. Stay thirsty, my friends. I'm Bobby Valentine, and I'm back. I'm managing at CBSSports.com Fantasy Baseball. It's the best place to play, and no one can fire me. I'm not getting that. Vote at CBSSports.com slash Bobby V. We're marching through the brackets and breaking down the entire field. You're getting ready to play on the biggest stage of your life in front of all of America that's watching. When you think about teams coming from unexpected places to advance in the NCAA tournament, they have to be able to win close games. It's money time now. It's all business. You know what I want to be when I grow up? 
I want to be a 12 seed. I'm <laughs> serious. Don't miss NCAA March Madness Bracket Breakdown. Tonight, immediately following tournament games. Only on CBS Sports Network. Embarrassed by a prostate exam? Imagine how your doctor feels. As a urologist, I have performed 9,421 and a half prostate exams. So why do I do it? Because I get paid. And on this side of the glove, I know prostate exams can save lives. So if you are a man over 50, talk to your doctor to see if a prostate exam is right for you. If we can do it, so can you. ZBS cares. 20-point lead for the Fort Wayne Mad Ants against the Texas Legends here in the D-League. Dwayne Tickner, head coach of Fort Wayne, is wired for sound. Let's give a look and listen to his thoughts throughout the game. He just switched up on the can help. He's the only three-point shooter they have on the floor right now. Tommy, that was a great job of using your length on Christian. Great job. Keep talking on defense. If they try and we... Listen, if they start, don't fight with him when they get 15 feet from the basket. I know you're trying to get around him, but he can't hurt us from out there. Keep, hey, keep executing, you'll get any shot you want. Defense, come on, now we gotta guard him, we gotta guard him. And that kind of fits in with the theme tonight. You heard him out of Johnny saying his team wasn't doing a good job defensively, and it seems like Fort Wayne's been able to kind of get what they want on the offensive end. They really have been able to because they're making that extra pass. You heard what he said. If you continue to execute, you'll get any shot you want. The shot they want is either your easy layup or the pass back out of a double team on the low block. Well, three-second call and a technical foul against Fort Wayne, so the free throw knocked down by Singletary. And then Texas will have the ball as well, side out. Texas right now has got to get somebody besides Fred House and Singletary hitting shots, primarily the inside guy. I mean, that guy has to get involved in the offense too. He's been really, really quiet this game. Now Tommy Smith will pick up a loose ball foul, his first to the battle for the rebound. Smith, former second round pick of the Chicago Bulls, has played all over, a lot of stamps in his passport, Germany, Croatia, Syria, China, spent last week with the Dakota Wizards in the D-League, that franchise since moved to Santa Cruz, now owned and operated by the Golden State Warriors. Lewis, nice hang and hit. Vernon Lewis taking the up and under. Good defense by Porter, but Lewis stuck with it. That is an inside bucket that they have to get going when your outside jump shot's not going. You have to look inside. First bucket of the game for Lewis. Mitchell missing from deep. Nice take by House. Looking off the defender, taking it right to the basket. Inga was there. He Looked him off and took it strong, and now cut the lead to 15, trying to make a run before halftime. House has 11. McCamey tried to leave it off for Smith. House with it. Can't finish. Fort Wayne basketball. You see House taking in. A little fake over there. Missing on the other end. With the Mad Ants, it's two turnovers. House had a chance to score in the second. Everybody Fast break, not able to do it. And now the Mad Ants with two minutes to play, trying to build on that 15 point lead. Mitchell into the triple team. Somebody's got to be free. Smith, and the defense collapsed. And off of Smith, Texas ball. Right now, you talk about execution out of that timeout. Coach Tickner said, let's execute it. They're not executing. They're getting in the lane, and they're throwing the ball when they're jumping instead of trying to run it and make some extra passes. Now they're giving the Legends a chance to get back in this game. And that's a beautiful shot by Abenga, and they're taking it in there. And now it's down to 13-point lead. Beautiful off the bounce. Ianga against Steve Benchy before 44 games as a rookie with Cleveland two years ago, and then with the Cavs at a game with the Lakers last year. Thomas, another adept pass. 
Kicks to the open man, and that's Chris Porter. That off, that time the offense was spread out. There was good movement, and then the cut to the basket. That is what Coach Tickner's talking about as far as executing. Making sure you have right spacing and make sure you have guys cut to the basket. Porter with eight. Singletary, straight away three, bottoms it through. Smith, able to get to the lane and free throws coming up. And you know, I think it's so important. You look at the spacing right here. Look at all the players. Those yellow shirts over there, and you're going to see good ball movement in the lane. Good pass on the drive and an easy layup for Porter, but everybody was spread out. Spacing is so important to get good offensive execution. Vernon Lewis with a foul on Smith. That's the third on Lewis. Each team with four fouls here in the second quarter. 48.2 seconds left to go. You know, if you're the, if you're the legends, you got to be sitting here looking, man, we have not played well. We've been outscored in the paint like 24 to 6. And we're still in this game. There's still a minute left. If they can get it down to 10, 10 points, I think it's a heck of a feat going into halftime. And tonight, a little bit of a showcase, as we mentioned, for Amada Jami, filling in for Eduardo Nahara, who's serving a one-game suspension for an accumulation of technical fouls. Head coach of the Legends, and they'll get Mitchell on the hold, and that's number three on Tony Mitchell. That was set up by Singletary. Singletary looked down and saw, and saw that he had an opening down low with Mitchell guarding. Inga was posting up Mitchell. Singletary knew that he could throw it over the top. And you'll see right here what happens. This was set up by Singletary. Talking to him, puts his hand up, and you see Mitchell holding him. Good call. Got to take advantage of those free throws, but more importantly, that's three fouls on Mitchell. Mitchell will take a seat. One of two for Ainga. In the bonus. 55 43 full win. Legends will have another chance this half to score because there's about a 15 second differential. Smith, House read it, picked it off. Fred on the push. Oh, missed opportunity by the Legends. They had three shots, point blank range. And now with 10 seconds left, McCamey's in control for the Mad Ants. McCamey on the drive. Super defense by Adufua. And that's the way the first half ends. Mad Ants by as many as 20. But right now, the lead is 12. 55-43. You're watching NBA Development League Basketball on CBS Sports Network, presented by Taco Bell. You know my heart burns for you. I'm up next, but now I'm singing the heartburn blues. Hold on, Frilisec isn't for fast relief. Cue up Alka-Seltzer. It stops heartburn fast. Oh, what a relief it is. What moves me? Healthy joints and keeping my 5K pace. That's why I take Move Free. It helps my body maintain and repair up to 38% more cartilage. Maybe I should try for 10K. Healthy joints move free. Attention, if you receive structured settlement or annuity payments, you must listen to this message from Seneca One. Are you behind on your bills? Are the credit card companies calling you every day? Are you falling behind on your car payments? We can help. To prove it, we'll send you this $5,000 check right away. Call us right now to find out how simple and fast it is. We were three months behind on our house payments. They were about to take it away. I called Seneca One and asked about their 5K right away plan. Seneca One sent us a check for $5,000 and we were able to catch up on our house payments. Thanks, Thanks Seneca, Seneca One. One. If you have structured settlement or annuity payments, you can get $5,000 right away. Get $5,000 cash to help you pay your bills and credit cards, fix up your home, or even buy a new car. Thanks to Seneca One's 5K right away plan, we were able to get $5,000 fast to buy our new car. Thanks, Seneca One. If you receive structured settlement or annuity payments, call Seneca One today and get your 5K right away. 
You see it happening. Lynn turns the corner, Lynn to the basket, lays it up and in. They're everywhere you look. Here comes Ron, up the rim. Steve Novak again. And this is where it starts. It's a step on the journey. Right here, right here, hey, hey, hey. They're working hard, because really, this is the NBA. At BBVA Compass, you can be more connected. Enjoy banking that's in sync with your life. Which means you see what we see, when we see it. So you're more in touch with your money, all the time. You never miss a beat, on your stats, from anywhere. That's banking built for you, only from BBVA Compass, official bank of the NBA. Introducing NBA Banking, now available from BBVA Compass. Time D League action between Fort Wayne and Texas. Well, earlier this year in Reno, a week of basketball at the NBA Development League showcase chance for NBA teams and scouts to check out the talent. Why don't we check out the week that was in Reno? The NBA Development League showcase ready to tip off four day event, 16 teams, 16 games. I want everybody to be energetic, a lot of effort, you know, great together as a team. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The best way to market the no. this league is to show people how great the talent is. This is the ninth year of the showcase, and this event is the most stressful job interview you'll ever hmm. have. GM scouts from all over the NBA here, so it's really a chance for these prospects in the D-League to show off what they got. You got to play for 48, intense, hard, every possession. Steal for the defender, Fortson, able to put it in. This is a must-see for me because you get to see this bulk of players and this bulk of talent in one setting. We had seven NBA teams either buy their own NBA D-League team or acquire the operating rights of their own NBA D-League team. And that's created a whole bunch of really positive effects for us. No matter what happens out on the court, we keep playing together, and that's how we grow. The coaches here, they're just like us, you know, they are here for auditioning too, you know, because they can get called up and be assistant coach. Here's what we got, fellas. Pay attention. Pay attention. We're going under you, brother. Are you going to, like, pull up and stop making that shot? All right? Having a chance to work with young guys and try to give them some of the nuances about what's going to take to get to the next level. It's been gratifying. Don't overthink the game. Get it to our point guard and then let's just be patient on offense. Three point try. Yep. Oh, you good. Just come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Good job, Scotty B. Great job. Ladies, 540, hard as you can, huh? Right? Let's try to beat that zone down the floor sometime. Zone C. I love basketball. It's just giving me another opportunity to come out and play and compete. We're going to run the play next time. S, S, pinch here. I believe that I'm, I'm still an NBA basketball player, and if I still love the game, well, I'm gonna have to do whatever it takes. Hey, uh, listen up, this next game. We are gonna lose Mike James. He's getting called off from the Mavericks. You know, you really don't find a lot of young guys that really, you know, stick together and play together all the time. And one thing I've seen in this locker room is everybody really wanna play for each other, man. Get on three, one more last time, Good Mike. One, two, three, together. together. And that's what it's all about for these NBA players, trying to keep the dream alive and work their way to the NBA. Halftime continues here in Fort Wayne, Texas, and the Mad Ants. More in a moment. Mother made the best toffee in the world. It's delicious. So now we've turned her toffee into a business. My goal was to take an idea and make it happen. I'm Janet Long, and I formed my toffee company through LegalZoom. I never really thought I would make money doing what I love. We created LegalZoom to help people start their business and launch their dreams. Go to LegalZoom.com today and make your business dream a reality. At LegalZoom.com, we put the law on your side.
you may have to travel like this. But at Courtyard, you can choose to stay like this and enjoy more of this and this. It's a new stay. Courtyard. V-Twin Power and Torque. Maximum capability and versatility and comfortable seating for four. The off-road rated Terex 4 side-by-side. -side. How can it get any better? How about no interest for 48 months or a $1,000 purchase incentive? Better. Right now, get no interest for 48 months or a $1,000 purchase incentive on all Terex 4s. Don't wait. This offer ends March 31st. So, I just moved in with this family and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. Fasten your chin strap. The 50-yard indoor war is now on CBS Sports Network. <laughs> Expect heart stop in action. Touchdown. Expect helmet popping hits. Deets is dropped. Expect high flying speed. Sprinting inside the 10. Expect arena football. Net 10 Wireless Arena Football. Saturday at 8.30, only on CBS Sports Network. Sports you love. Unbelievable. 24 hours a day. He's going to go all the way. The free throws did it. Oh, right through the defense. The 24 hour home of CBS Sports. This is as good as it gets. Touchdown. CBS Sports Network. Bouncing around, having a good time on Easter Sunday in Fort Wayne. Matt Ants having a good time, too. 55-43 the score. Jason Dapp here with Steve Wolf. The lead at one point was as many as 20. Texas has never led. So the Boost Mobile first half highlights. They may have been one-sided, but the legends with a late push to make this thing respectable. Yeah, I think Mitchell was the guy that got the Matt Ants going. I mean, he had 11 first half points. and really was distributing the basketball, taking what the defense gave him, but he had foul trouble and sat out. He was scoring inside and out, but then the guy that took over for the legends, Fred House, knocking down two or three jump shots from behind the arc. He's got 11 points, and what I like about what Fred House was able to do, towards the end of the half, he played great defense. He had three steals. He also did a good job of getting to the basket and getting in the paint. Well, Fred House is 11, Sean Singletary 10, Tony Mitchell 11 points to lead the way. And the points in the paint have been a big difference. All the check marks in favor of the Mad Ants, which means they're probably in the lead. And then they are by a dozen with the second quarter looming here in Fort Wayne. Mad Ants looking to get closer to locking up a playoff spot. Texas will have something to say about that when we return to Indiana. We started with raw inspiration and set out to create something entirely new, something unexpected. No compromises, no committees, no excuses. Just the purest expression of everything we love about driving. Introducing the radically new Toyota Avalon. Toyota, let's go places. Hold it's time to pursue our dreams, to chase what we believe in. It's time to work, to give it our very all and not give up. American Family Insurance believes your dreams deserve the best protection. That's why we're committed to being there for you every step of the way. I'm up next, but now I'm singing the heartburn blues. Hold on, Prilosec isn't for fast relief. Cue up Alka-Seltzer, it stops heartburn fast. Oh, what a relief it is. 
We're marching through the brackets and breaking down the entire field. You're getting ready to play on the biggest stage of your life in front of all of America that's watching. When you think about teams coming from unexpected places to advance in the NCAA tournament, they have to be able to win close games. It's money time now. It's all our business. You know what I want to be when I grow up? I want to be a 12 seed. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. Don't miss NCAA March Madness Bracket Breakdown tonight immediately following tournament games only on CBS Sports Network. Hey, they should make a Cool Ranch one of these. Hey guys, they should do a Cool Ranch one. I just said that. So when is the Cool Ranch version coming out, homie? Not soon enough. I agree. You agree? I agree. They should make a Cool Ranch one. I'm tweeting that. Why they don't make a Cool Ranch one? Cool Ranch, Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch. They should make a Cool Ranch one. Well, they better hurry up before I'm dead. We know. We did. Introducing the Cool Ranch Doritos Locos Taco. This copyrighted telecast of the NBA Development League may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise used in any form without the express written consent of the NBA Development League. Log on to NBA.com slash D-League for game recaps and video highlights. All right, let's go. All right. All right. Hit the button. All right, got it. Destination, please. Pebble Beach. After all these years, you can't find Pebble Beach? Faraday? That's sad, McCord. That's just sad. Sounded like parody. It is. Record, you couldn't find your backside with a set of deer antlers. Oh, that's him, all right. I told you we should have taken my car. He just find us there too, guys. You guys can't ditch me. And one of you needs to roll down a window. Who's that in the back, Miss Daisy? Well, the Easter Bunny hopefully came for that young lady earlier. Now the Mad Answer putting on a show with some treats for the folks at Fort Wayne. Twelve point lead here at halftime. Moments ago, Fort Wayne head coach Dwayne Tickner in the locker room addressing his team. Questions about anything at all? Guys, our energy level's got to pick up the start of this quarter. Can go one way. I said, I only want it to go up. We don't want it to go back down and let them think they can play in this game. We got to go out and get stops and push the tempo of the game. Make them play our pace. Okay, ready? Let's go to work. Go. Go. Trying to keep up the spirit, right, no keep chance. up the tempo for a team that's looking to get into the playoffs. As we look at the upcoming schedule on CBS Sports Network for the D-League, brought to you by the Dribble to Stop Diabetes campaign. Bakersfield at Reno, Monday night, 9.30 Eastern. Bakersfield trying to wrap up the West Division title at home seed, possibly for the entire run of the D-League playoffs. And then the quarterfinals, the semifinals, the championship, Best of three rounds to see playoff action throughout here on CBS Sports Network. Yeah, it's important as you heard Coach Tickner talking about it. Texas ended the half an 11 to 3 run. It is imperative that the Mad Ants come out and really take advantage of the first five minutes of this quarter and, and really go after it hard. They got to be aggressive like they were in the first half. And what happened was Tony Mitchell, as soon as he went out, you know, things had changed. The game he came and hit a couple shots, but they really never got the rhythm they had to start the game. Now Tony Mitchell been tearing up the lead of late. And tonight, 11 points. And again, spotty time really in the first half with the three fouls. Sean Singletary, two of the two players we highlighted at the top of the telecast. He's in double figures so far, too. I like what Singletary's been doing. He's been, they've missed a lot of the shots and he's been able to get the big guys in the paint. They only have 10 points in the paint right now. They're getting outscored 24 to 10, but he's done a nice job of feeding the post. Eli has got to find a way to be able to score, and so does Jones. Legends attacking right away. Eli with the soft flop. Right on cue, but that was a very good setup by Singletary, and that's important for the Legends to get back into this game. Now, they're as close as they've been since way early in the first quarter. Richardson. Back iron of the jumper. Look at the hustle to get it back. Come on, y'all, come on. Wallace able to save it. And Harris looks to reset. Well, he, he asked for energy coming out of the half. He can't get any more energetic than Richardson. And Smith working on the inside. Richardson cutting cord on the jumper. That's a three for Richardson. Jones had Jones for Texas had the rebound and they were ready to take it down court but he was lackadaisical with the ball and Richardson was able to get it back right now the Mad Ants are winning the, the hustle battles right now 
Foul on Smith, trying to defend Dwayne Jones. We'll see an inside out pass from Smith to Richardson. That's an easy step in jump shot. Richardson nails it. And Richardson, Wallace both in the neighborhood of 40% from three point land. Richardson leading score right now for the Mad Ants with 12. And you see that, that freaks you out a little bit when you see that. That's goaltending, but they don't call it the NBDL. Again, as you see the flush throw down from Wallace. Harris with the setup. The NBA using this as an experiment, laboratory, if you will, the D League. So using that. Overtime shorter as well. Well, the first five points of the second half go to the Mad Ants. The energy level is definitely picked up. House able to draw the contact from Harris. Well, Harris, that's a bad play, but this one wasn't. This is a beautiful pass by Harris to a cutting Richardson. It's nice teamwork and good flush. Another basket in the paint for the Mad Ants. Now House foul to the active shooting of three-pointers, so a trio of free throws ahead. House played overseas last year, former NBA D-League Rookie of the Year. And back for another go-round in the D-League this season. He's one of these guys that I don't think looks like they ever get old. He could score. I mean, he'll be sitting there at 60 shooting jump shots. He's got a beautiful rotation. He's also a gamer. He can get in the lane. He can score inside. He can score outside. And right now, he's leading the legends in scoring and doing a great job. 14 so far on the afternoon. Average is eight. He's got almost double that already. Wallace looking to link with Smith. Stolen by Anga. And Singletary getting in the way, and it's his third personal to prevent the layup by Harris. You can catch the NBA's hottest prospects by watching the NBA D-League Game of the Week every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern on NBA TV. Check of the foul there on Singletary, not his third, just his second. And the Mad Ants with the basketball. Mitchell's got Singletary on him in his season opening. And you can tell Mitchell's demeanor right now has got to get better. He's a little bit down on himself. He's missed his last three shots. He's been in foul trouble. You got to get back to the team effort that got you the lead early on. Eli, the back down, but called for taking too many steps. How about that defense by Smith? Didn't give an inch. Tommy Smith out of Arizona State. 6'10", really walling up on the inside. A lot of Jami's squad now with its eighth turnover of the contest. He tries to get this game back to single digits. Richardson to Smith. And a foul. Eli with the personal. Jason, the oldest play in the book is the old give and go. And you see Richardson setting up Smith, but it was a little body check on the action. It's just a give and go. You dribble in, you dribble in, you guy cuts to the basket, you give it to him. Wallace on the pull up. I like that Wallace, because Richardson's been hot. Wallace gave him the fake dribble handoff. Nobody picked him up. He spun it up for the nice 15-foot jump shot. Former South Carolina Gamecock, three of seven from the floor so far of the game. He lost in a battle with Wallace, and they'll get Brandon for the personal foul this second. You see the fake handoff. Nobody steps up. And Wallace able to knock the three. You'll dribble drive offense. But you got to make sure you have responsibility for your own man. So Wallace been elevating his game too, along with Mitchell, some of the other players for Fort Wayne. At 16 points, 15 rebounds, couple of blocks. Friday against Reno again. Ron Howard is the sixth leading scorer in the D League. Broken hand and may or may not be able to come back for the playoffs. And Luke Herringody went out of Notre Dame. 
Bothered by a knee injury, try to rehab, but it looks like his return is unlikely. So this team had to alter itself yet again as Mitchell delivers the three. They're going to give him a two, I think, because his foot was on the line. House had that steal. He already had the two points put on the scoreboard, but got tripped up with the ball. Mitchell is wide open for the, the two shot. And Tyler Ford, the official there, right on it to make the call that it was a two. And for Mitchell, those his first points since the first quarter. And talked about it before. He got in foul trouble. And you know, when you sit down, a lot of times you get rusty. He came in, missed a couple shots, but that looked like pure money on that shot. You know, we talk about Heron Gody and Howard being out, and you lose 42 points of your offense. It, it just is a testament to the type of coaching that is being done by the Mad Ants, making sure it's a team game. We've talked about how Mitchell's picked up the slack for some of that. Another player hitting the deck, Ienga going down. And then Smith will pick up the foul, his third. Now Dwayne Tickner giving credit to his assistants, including Stephen Ganzi, who's in charge of the defense, his brother Mike Ganzi, player at West Virginia, now with the Cavs, helping run the Canton Charge, the D-League. Possible playoff foe of Fort Wayne to the Bad Ants. Get that far, and again, Dallas, excuse me, Texas, the Dallas affiliate, look like him in these blue uniforms, certainly banging the offensive glass here. Foul on Brandon Wallace, his third. Jones. Really fighting, St. Joe's grad, really fighting on the offensive end. Now they have to make the free throws. They're doing a good job of trying to battle on the boards. They haven't been able to get that easy stick back. You see Wallace with his third personal foul. And that's a great sign for Texas, already in the bonus here in the quarter. So they'll be shooting free throws the rest of the way. And that one on Jones, dueling for the rebound, his second. The intensity picking up here in quarter number three. Fort Wayne try to stretch out the lead again. It's been as large as 20 in Texas. Try to rip off some chunks of that deficit and get it down to a more manageable number. Harris, pull up. House able to tap it to Eli. That was a broken play, Jason, because Harris was trying to see a walk there. Harris was trying to set up the offense. But Richardson was out of sync. Harris saw the shot clock running down and decided he better shoot it before they have a violation. But got to execute. It's Harris's job to get guys in the position so they can make a play. Brandon Wallace just continues to have the range. And Anthony Harris has been and then out dimes, it's his fifth assist, seven points of the quarter alone for Wallace. And what you're looking at is he's giving up size on the low block. He's the one who's guarding Eli right now. And Eli has the shot there, but they'll take two for three any time. Wallace is, is coming out and hitting that jump shot, and Jones is not coming out. You see right there again. So they're, they're sacrificing two for three. Dwayne Tickner. Talking about that in his team shoot around this morning, saying, hey, if you're going to get those shots, we don't think they're going to close out that strongly on you, and he's been right so far. That's right here. It's a nice pass by Harris over to Wallace, but there's nobody around him. You see how far Jones is away? Not able to get any extension. And Wallace is playing horse out there by himself. And last sequence, offensive foul on Sean Singletary, his third. Suddenly, Texas threatening to get it back under 10, and now Fort Wayne is on the verge of putting the lead and returning it to 20 as that fouls on Eli. Did you see that crossover that Harris had on Singletary? Now, Singletary's a pretty darn good defensive player, but Harris had a beautiful crossover. Triple team, triple team at a corner. And that'll be on Eli. That's his third, second in quick succession, and that's number five in the corner, so free throws are here for Mitchell. When we talk about that crossover, Jay, this is what I would do to you. 
Right. Oh, look at that. You talk about getting open and getting your man open. That's a great move by Harris. And that's a lot of practice time getting into as, as much distance you can get from your defensive player. I have the feeling your son Chase is here today. That might be his move down the future, the next generation of you, you know what? We never did that back in the day. We weren't allowed to dribble between our legs, but that is something you work with him on. And we got here early enough so he could shoot around. Just what a privilege to play in a place like this. It's actually had two NBA championship games played in this facility back when there was a Fort Wayne Pistons years and years ago. Eli. Singletary kick basketball and piston blood running in your family. Well, Chase's grandfather, my dad, coached the Detroit Pistons. They used to be the Fort Wayne Pistons. They moved here in 57 and went to Detroit. My dad coached uh, back in, was it the Royals from 60 to 63, and then coached the Pistons after that. They were called Fort Wayne Pistons, and then they were the Fred Zollner Detroit Pistons. Remember Dave DeBusher and Bob Ferry and those guys played there. That franchise had a pretty good run in the Motor City. As you see the little turn for Adufawa, his first bucket of the game. Well, that's another inside bucket. They got to get more of that because they can't rely on the outside jump shot. Wallace looking for it, got space, got another. Yeah, and then, you know what? He had a Adufawa on him and, and still couldn't get out and get a hand up in his face. So they put a smaller guy in there. They're running with a smaller lineup in Texas. 12 in the quarter for Brandon Wallace. How about Brandon Wallace? This guy taking the big guys, taking the little guys. Up by 19. Great Coaches, presented by AT&T. Nolan Richardson became Arkansas's head coach in 1985 and installed his up-tempo style of play dubbed 40 Minutes of Hell. The Razorbacks won a national title in 1994 and helped Richardson become the first African-American to win the Naismith Award as Coach of the Year. John Calipari is one of only two coaches to win the Naismith Award more than once. First in 1996 with UMass and again in 2008 with Memphis. In 2012, he led Kentucky to the national championship becoming only the second head coach to reach the Final Four with three different programs. John Calipari and Nolan Richardson, two of college basketball's great coaches. The 2013 Naismith Trophy Award is presented by AT&T. This is Mike. Mike's being healthy and chewing like a man. With one-a-day Vitacraves for men. It's a gummy multivitamin with more B vitamins, which help convert food to energy and help Mike do manly things like wrestle bears and take out the garbage. One-a-day Vitacraves for men. Big benefits for your heart health and more. In one small pill. Chef Mega Red Omega-3 Krill Oil, the better omega-3 choice. It absorbs faster in your body than fish oil with no fishy smell or aftertaste. Try Chef Mega Red today. Five Hour Energy has sold over a billion and a half bottles. People have chosen it again and again for over eight years. Its key ingredients are also found in everyday food like avocados, broccoli, and bananas. It contains about as much caffeine as a cup of the leading premium coffee. Zero sugar, four calories. Five Hour Energy is like coffee with vitamins and nutrients. Put them together and it's a great combination. Try a sip, then decide. Brandon Wallace has been lighting it up. The Mad Ants with a 19-point lead here midway third quarter. Let's take a peek at the SAP stat of the night. Points in the paint has loomed large here for the Mad Ants. That's a 19-point lead, but when you're giving 12 points up in the paint, it's really hard to win the game, and I think they've done a great job early on. You get the stick back by Porter. They're getting easy buckets, and that is really demoralizing to a defense. And I think in order for Texas to come back in this game, they're going to have to stop, put some pressure on that inside. And part of the reason that the inside's been affected because they're hitting from outside as well, 9 of 17 from beyond the three-point arc, 53%. So all facets of the game firing right now for the Mad Ants. Well, it's like the chicken or the egg early on. Mitchell was getting to the rim, and then when you clog that up, throw it back outside, get a couple jump shots, throw it back inside. You know, so they have done a good job of taking what the defense gives. 
I think it bodes well for this Fort Wayne team getting ready for the playoffs because they do have very good ball movement. And as you said earlier, they win the rebounding war on the offensive glass. They are tough going to the boards. This is a team that is one of the hottest in the league right now. If they can get into the playoffs, they might make some noise, especially with that format. Best of three in the lower seed, which Fort Wayne will be, as you see Mitchell get the bucket. The lower seed hosts game one, so if you can win on your home floor, you got the chance to get a leg up. You only need to steal one of the next two at the higher seed's home. Well, here in Fort Wayne, Allen County War Memorial Coliseum, great old basketball barn. Here in Fort Wayne, Dwayne Tickner and the Mad Ants. And they're trying to move in closer to locking up a playoff spot. Jason Knapp along with Steve Wolf, our CBS Sports Network crew. NBA D League playoff, or excuse me, regular season coverage leading up to the playoffs. And presented to you by Taco Bell. Fort Wayne led by as many as 20 and got out early. Texas able to cut it down. 12 point advantage at halftime, but it stayed in that range here for the most part here in the third quarter. Odufawa gets the second. Actually played at North Texas, Dallas native Kimball High School. So getting to fly a pro basketball career in his backyard. Harris strong take. Nobody steps up to take that charge. Once he got around Bozeman, nobody was able to step up and take the charge. Harris getting right to the rack. And this is a 20-point lead here with 442 to go in the third. Off the turnover. Mitchell. Right now, the Mad Ants have got to take advantage of this 20-point lead. Working the ball, getting the ball inside. You see the size advantage that Wallace has on Delonte West, but West pushed him away from the basket enough. Missed by Wallace. West has been quiet. 0 of 2 shooting-wise so far in the game. He just doesn't know. I mean, I remember watching him play. I did his games at St. Joe's years ago, and he just, he looks a little bit slow. It looks like he's struggling even to get his own shot. And another giveaway by the Texas Legends. Well, you see, Harris gets by Bozeman, and nobody helps out. And that's a great recognition by a point guard. Harris is doing a very good job of running this team. Speedy take for the man from Miami. He's played. In the D League, also Japan, Germany, and the Netherlands. And he misses on the long range attempt. There's West in the open floor. There's his first bucket of the contest. Might have heard what I said about him getting a little, looking like he's a little bit older. But I tell, I'll tell you, he's left handed, and he gets around to the basket. He's a scorer. Just his sixth game since joining the Legends. And again, hoping to impress and earn a call back up to the NBA. The Ants are playing really good half-court defense, trying to deny House the ball. That was a two-man game with Jones and a bad pass stolen by Porter. Good read, leading the break himself. Won't go, but he will get to the line. And Delonte West played years ago out of St. Joe's. But Jameer Nelson, drafted by Boston, you see he's been with a number of teams. Went back with Boston, but he's, he's struggling right now. Only one for three from the field. Now the Fort Wayne Mad Ants try to beat Delonte West and the Texas Legends. Looking good for the home squad right now. They should make a Cool Ranch one of these. Hey guys, they should do a Cool Ranch one. I just said that. So when is the Cool Ranch version coming out, homie? Not soon enough. I agree. You agree? I agree. They should make a cool ranch one. I'm tweeting that. Why they don't make a cool ranch one? Cool ranch, cool ranch. Cool ranch. Cool ranch. Cool ranch. They should make a cool ranch one. Well, they better hurry up before I'm dead. We know. We did. Introducing the Cool Ranch Doritos Locos Taco. This is Mike. Mike's being healthy and chewing like a man. With one-a-day Vitacraves for men. 
It's a gummy multivitamin with more B vitamins, which help convert food to energy and help Mike do manly things like wrestle bears and take out the garbage. One a day, Vita craves for men. As a child, Leroy Homer dreamed of flying a plane. He gave his life on September 11th as first officer of Hijack Flight 93 that crashed in a Pennsylvania field. For his heroic actions, he was made an honorary member of the Tuskegee Airmen and received the Congressional Gold Medal. His love of flying lives on through the Leroy Homer Foundation, which dedicates itself to supporting children's dreams to fly. Help turn these dreams into reality. Learn more at LeroyHomer.org. CBS Cares. You see it happening. Lynn turns the corner, Lynn to the basket, lays it up the They're everywhere you look. Here comes Ron, up the rim. Steve Novak again. And this is where it starts. Go for it. It's a step on the journey. Right here, right here, hey, hey, hey. They're working hard, because really, this is the NBA. I'm Jim Parsons from the Big Bang Theory, and you're watching the CBS Sports Network. Oh! <laughs> 3.01 left to go, quarter number three, Fort Wayne 77, Texas 59 on CBS Sports Network. Tonight, immediately following the NCAA Tournament Games, tune in to CBS Sports Network for March Madness Bracket Breakdown. Adam Zucker, the gang, will get you all caught up on the college action from the day. Anthony Harris been doing it all of late, especially here in the third for Fort Wayne. Uh, he's done it getting to the rim, but this is a guy who didn't even play point guard his first two years in college at Miami. He was converted to a point guard his junior year, but he has a six assist. And what I love about the way he's playing, he's getting everybody involved. Early it was a Tony Mitchell, and then it was Anthony Richardson. But he is the guy that's setting the pace and getting the ball into the hands of the guys that are scoring. Maybe we can call him Mad Anthony Harris because the Mad Ant nickname here in Fort Wayne, it's for Mad Anthony Wayne, the general who oversaw construction of the original Fort Wayne back here in the 70, 1700s. So maybe he's the, he's the latest Mad Ant here for this franchise. I'll tell you right now, as far as I'm concerned, he can be called a Mad Ant because I think he's run the show. He's the straw that's stirring the drink. And right now, uh, Texas down by 20. He's got to find somebody who's going to run the show for them. We've got more turnovers than field goal attempts in this quarter. And that one stayed out. Bozeman almost got it to go. Well, that's the other thing. 22 assists right now in the third quarter for the Mad Ants. Only 12 assists for Texas. And another one. Richardson and the Mad Ants continue to make Texas pay for long range. The largest lead of the game now stretched out to 22. Blocked away, Wallace. But Aduvua able to get the second effort and a foul as well. Talk about a second effort. You see the block, you're allowed to do that in the NBDL, and you'll see, realizing that was a missed shot, Dufalaw comes right back and gets the hustle points, has a chance now for an and one. And Wallace will take a seat. That's his fifth. So one foul away from leaving for good. He'll take a seat here with two minutes left to go in the third. Wallace has been playing great. You need to keep him in the game offensively. Wallace and Richardson have been the offense here in the second half for the Mad Ants. Mitchell's got 16, Wallace 15, Richardson 14, and Porter chipping in 10. To lead the way for Fort Wayne. Harris again. Another Mad Ant maneuver for Anthony Harris. Well, it was a great back screen to get him open. Just a little bit of a back screen by Richardson. Gets Harris enough room to get to the rim. He's the fifth Fort Wayne player now in double figures. Chipping in 10. Tough shot. And the hit going down as well. Ienga paid the price, picked up the two. He's wondering where the foul was. But the problem right now for Texas is they can't trade baskets. It's still a 20-point lead. And I think that the way 
that the Mad Ants are scoring and the variety of ways they're scoring bodes well for Fort Wayne. West. And the strip underneath. It'll remain with Texas. Well, you'll see right here on this last play, see, you'll see Richardson here and you'll see the back pick. Just a little bit of a back pick and then Harris is able to get right to the basket unobstructed. That's a great recognition of, of where you are and what you have on the court. Nice play. Final minute here, third quarter. West pulling up short. Harris walks it into the front court. 10 points, seven assists, three rebounds. The guard out of Miami. Rojas taken away West. Leaves off Bozeman and one. When you have a play like that, you just get away. Make sure you get away for the guy going to the basket. You see the steal by Delonte West? Brings it down and makes a nice play to Bozeman, who's trailing. And you'll see Ross trying to get out of the way. But the little leg kick by Bozeman gives the foul to Ross. Rojas picks up the foul, his third. Bozeman finishes off the three-point play. Shot clock is off, so right now, if you're the Mad Ants, you want to go out with no less than a two-pointer and possibly a three-pointer to end out the third quarter. Richardson trying to set up Lewis. Shakes, fades, hits. Smooth move by Anthony Richardson. Richardson at 6'7", plays out front like a guard. He is a scoring machine, and he took Vernon Lewis to task. Nice little step back in the lane. Just to create enough space to get that open jumper. All timeout, Texas. Well, about a job, you got to take a timeout, try to draw something up here. The final 1.1 seconds of the quarter. You know, Jason, when you watch it, watch the step back. You'll see he gets Vernon Lewis moving in, and then he steps back and gets enough separation. Is able to knock down that jump shot, but you see it back. And then Lewis is not able to get out and get any extension on. Strong shooting night for Richardson. Seven of eight to the floor. And throw in a handful of rebounds as well. Impressive night for the 29-year-old. You look at the D-League playoffs, get the top eight will make the postseason as we enter the final week of the 50-game regular season. Top four teams have locked up playoff spots. Austin and Tulsa are close to doing so. Fort Wayne can't clinch tonight, but it certainly will make them hard to be caught by the teams below them. Maine, Sioux Falls, Erie are all still in the mix. One final regular season game here on CBS Sports Network. Bakersfield at Reno Monday. Again, the Bakersfield Jam trying to lock down the West Division title and home court advantage for the duration of the playoffs. And then quarterfinal action, semifinal action, and the championship best of three. All that will be seen right here on CBS Sports Network. And Jason, the venue here is unbelievable. The marketing they are doing is like big time. It's NBA big time marketing. Every time out, the Mad Ants running around. They're giving out t-shirts. This is a heck of an environment. I mean, this is, this is like an NBA game. And again, for the fans here of bought in, especially helps when the team is in playoff contention for the first time since moving here in 07 08. Oh. At the end, can't get it to go. Now that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Matt Ants 85, Texas 66. You're watching NBA D League basketball presented by Taco Bell on CBS Sports Network. You do a lot of thinking on a bike, about your life, family, your dreams. One of my dreams came to me on a bike, to open up my own shop. So what happens when you complete a dream? Well, you just start thinking of the next.
Both Tylenol and Bare Advanced Aspirin are proven to be effective pain relievers. Tylenol works by blocking pain signals to your brain. Bare Advanced Aspirin blocks pain at the site. Try the power of Bare Advanced Aspirin. You may have to travel like this, but at Courtyard, you can stay like this and enjoy more of this and this. It's a new stay. Courtyard. Say hola to the new Cool Ranch Doritos Locos Taco. It's the taco you've been looking for. At BBVA Compass, you can be more connected. Enjoy banking that's in sync with your life. Which means you see what we see, when we see it. So you're more in touch with your money, all the time. You never miss a beat, on your stats, from anywhere. That's banking built for you. Only from BBVA Compass, official bank of the NBA. Introducing NBA Banking, now available from BBVA Compass. Ready to start quarter number four. Dwayne Tickner is with us. And coach, you talked about energy and coming out and building a big lead. Now that you had it, how do you feel like you've played with this large advantage? Well, we've been a little bit uh, inconsistent, but I really think I think for the most part our energy level has been great. Our bench guys came in and uh, especially the third quarter really gave us a lift. Chris Porter's been fantastic. Sadiel has been fantastic. So we just need to carry it over here this first four or five minutes and let them know that we're playing for something. Coach, thanks. All right, thanks a lot, Jason. Yeah, he's right. Everybody's done their part. And again, Dwayne Tickner really building on the team chemistry that the squad has developed in the second half of the year. Difficult sometimes with all the player turnover, transactions, calls up, call up trades that happen in the D League. But this team's got it right now. And I think why they have it is when he decided to come over, he decided to go after some poor players. We talk about this. Richardson, Smith, uh, you know, Porter, those guys, and they're probably not going to get called up. They're veterans, but they are good locker room guys. And you can see, look at the team effort. Five guys in double figure right now. Texas House was the guy that was doing well in the first half. He only has three here in the third quarter. So right now, the team that's winning is a team that's playing better as a team. Richardson in a racer mode. This just reminds me of when I played on an eight-foot basket back in the day, and you always played no goaltending. And it's always nice. It's like a dunk. You want to block it out. As you see the foul on Delonte West. That's a second on West. This has not really gotten into any rhythm on the offensive end right now. And a technical foul as well on Delonte West. Well, you see, it's an inadvertent elbow, but it doesn't matter. I mean, they're going to call it. And you see Richardson, who hasn't missed much of anything at the free throw line. In a game of delay of game technical after the fact. The free throw made. Amada Jami looking on again, getting the chance to have the head coaching gig for the night with Eduardo Nahara serving a one game suspension for an accumulation of technical fouls. Picked up his 13th of the season. And, uh, Legends lost in Canton last night. And Jami has been on the staff of the Orlando Magic the last few years. First as the video coordinator, then as the assistant with Stan Van Gundy for three seasons. Getting the crack to lead Texas tonight. As Richardson picks up another foul. His third. There's a look at Ajami. I asked him a little nervous. First time as head coach since he was coaching high school back in the mid-2000s in the Dallas area. There you look at him. Able to get a shot assistant video coordinator with the LA Clippers 0607 moved over to the Magic and then Stan Van Gundy promoted him as an assistant the last three years and you know whether you're coaching grade school high school college or the pros 
it's all the same. The beginning is a little bit nervous because you have different type of players. They do so much more, but it's basics. It's playing the other as a team and running and executing your offense and playing hard defense. And right now, with 11 minutes to play, they got to really step, step it up defensively. Bozeman able to knock down the long range shot. And again, for the coaches too, they're trying to climb the ladder. So Stan Van Gundy's out in Orlando, which means Ajami has to look for another job. Lands here in the Dallas organization with the Legends. Trying to work his way back to the NBA. This is a nice inside-outside play, and you see Bozeman just drilling the three-point jump shot over Ross. And they're going to need that right now, down by 17. I think they really have to get it down under 10 by three or four minutes. They have a shot at winning this game, especially the way the Mad Ants are playing offensively. Last foul on Lewis, his fourth. Ianga erased by Rojas. Harris, Porter on the take. And free throws coming up. We mentioned the history for the Texas Legends. They've got a lot of big basketball minds in the office. Nancy Lieberman, head coach a couple of years ago. She's now an assistant GM, Del Harris. You know, coaching last year, he's the GM of the franchise. And then Eduardo Nahara this season is the head man of the Texas Legends. And again, Ajami serving as the acting head coach tonight. We've got Spud Webb, the president of basketball operations, and Donnie Nelson, the Dallas GM, co-owns the franchise. So you've got a lot of uh, good basketball lifers involved with this Texas franchise. And it's very, very important because you ha it's, it's all who you line up with and, and the connections you make and the connections you have. And I think that this ownership group is really excited about having the franchise here, but getting the talent that they've been able to get and to compete for a, a playoff spot and ultimately to compete to win the, uh, the NBDL championship. West turns it over. Richardson. Harris rolls in and won. Now that's why they're winning games. And you see Richardson, who's hot. He's on fire. But what does he do? Gets on the floor, gets the ball out. The man who's hot gives it up. And then Harris takes it in for an and one. So the unselfish play by Richardson led to an easy layup for Harris. And that's the way this team's playing. They are really, you can tell, they're a very well coached team. And they're making that extra pass. Their coach is involved too. As Harris made that bucket, Dwayne Tickner on the bench gave the fist pump for the and one sign, I think, in unison with the referee. And I think that if you ask him on that play, what was the most important, he would say Richardson giving that ball up. Because you can finish an easy layup, but you have to be able to give it up and realize that your teammates got a better shot at the basket. You are talking about coaches getting opportunities at the next level. And if you're a coach and you're a player at this point of the year, you can smell the playoffs. You want to get there. This Fort Wayne squad is on the cusp of getting into the postseason. Corner three, knocked down by Singletary. And every time it looks like the Mad Ants are going to take over this game and just and blow them out by 30, you see somebody come back and step up and hit that jump shot. But right now, it's getting into that period of time that they need to play on the defensive stop. And score at the other end, and right now they cannot stop the Mad Ants from scoring. Wayne Tichter at the start of the quarter talking about the bench guys. There's two of them connecting there. Porter for Thomas and another easy two. Bozeman and tapped in. Eli with the follow. Eli now his 13. But again, trading buckets not going to work for Texas right now. That was an early shot clock jump shot by Porter. You probably want to work a little bit more offense. Don't give this team a chance. Texas Legends, they have NBA players on the team. Don't, don't give them a shot to get back in it. And Eli with a beautiful bounce look and to the cutting house. Fred House at the hot start in the first half. 16 now in the contest. Now that's the way you run an offense. Beautiful dish by Harris, the Porter for an easy two. His eighth helper of the game to set up Porter. 
Richardson. Gets open. Can't get it down. Well, you can hear Coach Tickner yelling, get back. On defense, this is a transition game, and Matt Anthony just pulled out. Harris needs to take over, set it up. Try to run the shot clock down a little bit. Don't go for the first shot. Open the first open shot, I should say. Harris working some clock now with the Mad Ant set. Thomas for the timer. He'll pull up and put him home. Nothing better than running the shot clock down to four and knocking down a jump shot. Thomas with the easy two. Back up to 20 point lead for the Mad Ants. They're going to get an offensive foul on Eli. Wasn't set. A legal screen will be called fourth on Eli. Well, Texas did a really good job. It's a single carry, throw it inside, the old give and go. And a nice take to the basket. But then you can't give it up the next time. You see Harris with an over the shoulder pass to Porter for two. And I'll tell you, Harris has done a great job of running this offense. And he's going to get a well deserved rest as McCamey comes in to replace him. 13 points, eight rebounds, excuse me, eight assists, three rebounds, five of eight shooting for Harris in the game. And then Ron Howard, another talented point guard score for this team out of the broken hand. Harris and McCamey doing the job and all the vets chiming in. Porter with another two, give him 15. And Eli fouled on his attack to the rim. 22-point lead for Fort Wayne, largest of the game. As you look at Brian Austin on the floor for the first time. He's talking to the owner, John Ziglis. I looked, they said, who is that guy out there warming up? He looks like an athlete. He said, he is our Rudy. He's the guy that makes us go. He's a local kid from Indiana Tech. He's a 6'6 forward, getting some minutes. I love the fact that the ownership is engaged down the court, watching these guys in practice. We get a local flavor in here. No, it's not Indiana, it's Indiana Tech. Look at the numbers for Austin and Indiana Tech. They did his 10th appearance of the season in the game for Fort Wayne and Brian Austin delivery. Here's a little Indiana Tech for you. And I'm looking right now at John Ziglitz, and he is yelling, standing up in his seat, excited. And you know what? As a player, you know if your ownership, your management is watching, and for them to give him a round of applause and stand up, that's, that's big for that kid. Bozeman off the window. Fort Wayne hitting 100. They average 104 per game. It's seemingly going to exceed that tonight. Doing a much better job defensively. They allow about 102 per contest. And Texas still hasn't cracked the 80 point plateau. And I'm sure the demand ants have something if you score 100 points. But with Brian Austin, a hometown boy, coming in, number 10, getting to the basket. He scores 100 basket, our point of the game for the mad ants. Twin power and torque, maximum capability and versatility, and comfortable seating for four. The off-road rated Terex 4 side-by-side. -side. How can it get any better? How about no interest for 48 months or a purchase incentive? Better. Right now, get no interest for 48 months or a $1,000 purchase incentive on all Terex 4s. Don't wait. This offer ends March 31st. Tenacity, plated in chrome. Determination, covered in mud. Fight, firing on six cylinders. The new Ram 1500 with best-in-class fuel economy. Guts, glory, Ram. Motor Trend's 2013 Truck of the Year. You may have to travel like this, but at Courtyard, you can stay like this and enjoy more of this and this. It's a new stay. Courtyard. Our landing time got moved back another hour. Hunger creeping up on you? Stash a Ritz Crackerfuls made with real cheese and whole grain. Don't get caught hungry. Ritz Crackerfuls. 
This is Mike. Mike's being healthy and chewing like a man. With one a day Vitacraves for men. It's a gummy multivitamin with more B vitamins, which help convert food to energy and help Mike do manly things like wrestle bears and take out the garbage. One a day Vitacraves for men. I'm Bobby Valentine, and I'm back. I'm managing at CBSSports.com Fantasy Baseball. It's the best place to play, and no one can fire me. I'm not getting that. Vote at CBSSports.com slash Bobby V. The Fort Wayne Mad Ants been taking it to Texas all night. Team that's number one in the league in fewest turnovers. Only 12 turnovers, 27 assists, and that's fueled the offense. And you see Anthony Richard, he can score with his back to the basket, facing the basket, coming off picks, 7-9 from the field for 17 points. He's really got it all for the Mad Ants. Six rebounds, trio of assists. As you look at the remaining schedule for Fort Wayne, Richardson trying to stay loose in the bike for when he's called upon again. Last home game for Fort Wayne tonight, and then two big road contests to round out the regular season. At Sioux Falls, at Tulsa, two other teams like the Mad Ants fighting to get into the playoffs. So tonight's game, critical, especially with that home win. It won't lock up a playoff spot, but it'll put them in a lot better position. And it's really good. They get to put some of their starters down and give them a little bit of a rest, as you see Richardson on the on the uh, the bike. But you got a lot of subs in the game right now, and they have been playing great all afternoon. Well, NBA Development League action presented to you by Taco Bell on CBS Sports Network. Fort Wayne, Indiana, Mad Ants trying to lock up their first ever winning season in franchise history since they arrived here in the 0708 campaign, looking to make the postseason for the first time too. Wayne Tickner trying to lead his team to a key victory tonight in the lead over Texas. With the final week of the 50 game NBA Development League regular season underway. Fred House. No good in the three. Jason Apps, Steve Wolf, our CBS Sports Network crew. Glad to have you with us. Single tear. Working on McCamey. Yes. That's a nice up and under. And I'll tell you, you, you got to understand scoring clock with four minutes or five minutes left to go in the game, and you're up by 20. You don't want to take the first available shot. Brian Austin. Not try to shoot that chopper with about 18 seconds on the shot clock. Gonna run a little clock at the end of the game. Rowhouse House to kick out McCamey. Since he's arrived about two weeks ago for Fort Wayne, he has hit some key threes. Another one there. And a kick on McCamey. And remain with Texas. Well, there was good ball movement. You'll see the nice drove drive by Rojas drawing into. Dishing it back out to McCamey. McCamey knocking down that outside jump shot for his ninth point. And McCamey, three of four from beyond the arc. Texas takes the timeout. Dwayne Tickner liking the way things have gone from the outset. His team leading by as many as 23 in control in the fourth. You may have to travel like this. But at Courtyard, you can choose to stay like this and enjoy more of this, this, and this. It's a new stay. Courtyard. This is Mike. Mike's being healthy and chewing like a man. With one a day Vita Craves for men. It's a gummy multivitamin with more B vitamins, which help convert food to energy and help Mike do manly things like wrestle bears and take out the garbage. One a day Vita Craves for men. Our landing time got moved back another hour. Hunger creeping up on you? Stash of Ritz Crackerfuls made with real cheese and whole grain. Don't get caught hungry. Ritz Crackerfuls. We're marching through the brackets and breaking down the entire field. You're getting ready to play on the biggest stage of your life in front of all of America that's watching. When you think about teams coming from unexpected places to advance in the NCAA tournament, they have to be able to win close games. It's money time now. It's all business. You know what I want to be when I grow up? 
I want to be a 12 seed. <laughs> I'm serious. Don't miss NCAA March Madness Bracket Breakdown tonight immediately following tournament games only on CBS Sports Network. Basketball, it's a numbers game. But just listen to these numbers. One in three adults in this country are at risk of developing diabetes. One in three. Just think about what that looks like in here. Our families, our friends, our fans. Let's change those numbers. Learn your risk factors for diabetes. Go to DrewToStopDiabetes.com and take the risk test. It's fast, free, and easy. Remember, your health depends on you. To learn more, go to DrewToStopDiabetes.com. NBA D-League on CBS Sports Network is presented by Taco Bell. Sometimes you gotta live Moss. And by the Dribble to Stop Diabetes campaign. Get in the game. Take a diabetes risk test at dribbletostopdiabetes.com. Here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, home of the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. And everybody dancing around. It's been that kind of night for the home squad against Texas. Tomorrow, 930 Eastern, more NBA Development League basketball. Bakersfield taking on Reno, the NBA D-League on CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. And in the West, it's a big game for Bakersfield for a couple of reasons. Number one, they're trying to lock up the division, but also the home court advantage for the postseason. Not only are they battling Santa Cruz, but also Rio Grand Valley out of the Central Division. RGV is 33-15 and 15 with two games left, so a win for Bakersfield would help the cause of the jam as well. And again, looking to get home court for as long as they're alive in the postseason. Hey, this is a party here in Fort Wayne. I, I'm going to have to check out some of the other venues because they do it right here. I mean, every time out, there's something for the fans. A lot of young kids here. It's, uh, it's a great venue to watch very good basketball. Rojas able to clear it. We're talking about the development of players. Rojas, perfect example, coming out of the NAIA, Oklahoma Wesleyan. You know, guys like Terry Porter, Scotty Pippen, Dennis Rodman, all at NAIA schools. And he's an energy guy off the bench. He's continuing to blossom. McKamey with two on the timer. And tracked down by Brian Austin. But you, you're right, and, and I think that if you're an NBA coach, and you realize what kind of coaching structure they have here in Fort Wayne. These are the guys that are going to learn. You can pick it, bring them up, and they'd be ready to play in the NBA. If they're ready to play offensively, they're, ready, they're going to be ready to play because they've been around a solid coaching staff that makes them accountable. Ienga taking it coast to coast for the flush. Austin was in the vicinity there, rejecting that, and then got out of the way. <laughs> Tell you what, he went up. High and hard on that ball and just threw it down to the Bryant. Three and change left. Austin pulling up, buries it. Now the local kid now. Looks like he belongs out there. Nice jump shot by the arc with the shot clock winding down. McKamey with control. Porter. The old vet getting it done late in the shot clock. There you go. He looked like Barkley going in there. Slow, steady, and strong. The three S's, that was a nice move by Chris Porter. Getting underneath the basket and scoring. Now, Tony Mitchell has been terrorizing the D-League of late. His last three games, 47 points, 37 last Sunday, 25 the other night. Only 16, but he's gotten plenty of balance for the rest of the offense. And I think that's what you need as you get ready for the playoffs. He was really unstoppable in that first half, and then he got the fouls, Jason, sat out. Has, has played sparingly this second half, but he has 16 points, but there's four other guys in double figures, and you got McKamey with nine, and you have Thomas with eight, so very well-balanced offense 
for the Mad Ants. And if you're Dwayne Tickner, it's great to know that you've got Mitchell who can go off at any moment and detonate for a big 30, 40 point night. But this has got to be really encouraging as you push towards the playoffs to have this sort of balance on both ends of the floor. I mean, look at everybody that's played in this game has scored for four wing. And you have to like that. You know, you have to put behind you the fact that you lost Heron Gody and Howard. That's 42 points, and that's a lot of offensive production, but now it's a team. Everybody's picking up the pace, and especially when you get points off of the bench. And McCamey has done a nice job when he was coming off the bench offensively and defensively. Wayne Tickner talking about his ability to knock down an outside shot. He's helping even more since his recent acquisition. Porter, one to shoot, Austin. Been that kind of night. And you know what, you get it to the vet. Porter, look at the shot clock and saw two seconds, and he actually threw it to Austin, and Brian Austin drills the eight-footer. 90 seconds left to go. You know, this time last week, Fort Wayne was playing right here on CBS Sports Network against Rio Grande Valley. They had a big lead, almost 20 points in the first half, and RGB just stormed back and beat him. And after the game, Dwayne Tickner said, you know what? It's okay, we played well, they played better. He's really been building up his team here in the final stretch of the regular season. He's got a playoff mentality, win two of three during the week. They've done that, and this weekend it looks like they're going to win three of three and put themselves in great position towards the playoffs. And you know, I think that game last week really helped them tonight because they had an opportunity to blow that lead again. They were up by 22 and, and gave back some points, but they were to close out. 45 seconds left to go. And Fort Wayne taking care of business on its home floor tonight. Gonna finish up on the road. Two wins certainly would do it. One in their last two on the road might be enough. As Porter flies down the baseline, but after the shot clock had expired, and while we've got a sec, let's take a look at the Taco Bell play of the game. I was very impressed with Harris. He's very unselfish. You see the alley-oop to Wallace. Harris had eight assists. Wallace had 15 points, and really the consummate team effort this afternoon, and the better team won this matchup today. Wallace controls. And Fort Wayne will celebrate, locking up their first ever winning season and closing in on their first ever NBA D-League playoff berth. Dwayne Tickner and the Mad Ants with a complete performance this afternoon into tonight here in Fort Wayne. The Adidas player of the game tonight is Anthony Richardson. Adidas, Two more left to go in the regular game. season. And then ready to go to the playoffs if they can win one more coming up. Now they'll celebrate here in Fort Wayne tonight. Once again, the final score, Fort Wayne 109, Texas 85. For Steve Wolf, our entire crew. This is Jason App. So long from Fort Wayne, Indiana. For scores, highlights, features, and more, go to CBSSports.com.